Brush Soap by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to another shaving video and today I'm going to be talking about a product called the Phoenix Brush Soap. Now this brush soap, as I said, from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements comes in a four ounce puck and is retailing for $9.95. Now uh, the purpose of this is, as in the name, to clean your brushes. It is brush soap, but it's not made for shaving. So uh, let's start with the box. Um, really, really nice packaging for a brush soap. It kind of goes along um, with, with the style of the other boxes. If you order any of the safety razors uh, from Phoenix, uh, they come in a box that's very similar. Uh, I like that it kind of goes along with the image of the company. And inside the box, there are two things. You have a five inch comb, which you'll see what that's for in a little bit. And you have the brush soap itself in a little bag. And uh, this soap here has uh, white vinegar and borax in it to help in uh, to aid in cleaning the brushes. Then you'll see that it also has these uh, weird little nubs on there. And uh, the whole point of that is that it's more surface area in kind of a smaller package and it helps you um, whip up a nice lather there. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, demonstrate how I would use this and uh, just show you. So um, I've already got my brushes soaking here in a bowl. I don't want to spill too much water, but my brushes are here. And um, all you need to do, this is pretty simple, get the puck wet. Okay, got it wet. It's a little bit slick. And uh, the scent on it is the Sacre Bleu scent, which is a tribute to the original Aqua Velva. So it does have a nice clean scent to it. And so I'm gonna take my brush. Now it is wet, but I've wrung out some of the water. And then you're gonna start and just do a figure eight motion for 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, as you can see, it is starting to bubble up a little lather there. Now it's not going to lather up like a normal shaving soap but that's good, and then we'll start going the opposite direction. Really hard to do opposite direction figure eights unless you practice it. Okay, so now it's, it's in there. As you can see, my brush has plenty of this brush soap in it. And the next step is to take your five inch comb, which comes with it. I really like that it comes with the comb so you're not searching with it for it. And we're going to comb out this knot. Now this is a horsehair brush here and uh, I comb it out after every single use. But as you can see just gentle, no force there. Um, there's no tangles in any of these in my brush because I've always kept them nice and tangled. As you can see I kind of like split it and go inside the knot a little bit and just do that for a little bit. Let me get the other brush so I can show you. And now um, Cleaning brushes is something, you know, we really don't do that often, but if you think about it, with, with the amount of money you spend on a like horse br hair brush like that, or this Simpsons brush here, this brush was $160, and so cleaning it is, is pretty important. You want these things, you want to maintain them, you want them to function at the peak that they can function, and so cleaning it's great. Now, uh, some of you might be thinking, well, you know, there's plenty of cleaning solutions out there or homemade remedies that you can do, and there absolutely are. In fact, I think Douglas has given out several recipes himself for cleaning brushes uh, throughout the years. Now, my thing with why I still wanted to buy this product is that it's done for you. Um, and with the size of it, I mean, it's going to last you forever. If I went out and bought all the ingredients, I promise you it's going to cost me more than $10, uh, the cost of this product. And then I got to make it, and then I got to store it somewhere. Um, with this, you get your comb, you get your brush soap. It just, you know, to me, seems like a no brainer. Um, really, really, really cool. So um, this is working fabulous to clean out my brush. Um, however, it also could help you to break in a new brush if you get. Uh, any of these new horsehair brushes or sometimes a uh, boar hair or even a badger, 
they kind of have like a new brush stank to it. And uh, what this brush soap will do is help you get rid of that stank a lot quicker and it'll really help it break in. Okay, so both of these brushes are nice and clean. So you can just stop there and just kind of rinse them out in uh, some warm water while you're continuing to comb it. Or uh, they say that you can take the brush and just kind of simulate whipping up a lather first. Okay, now it's again, it's not a shave soap. It's not going to get you a big lather, but it's going to again get all of that brush soap in between the hairs and stuff like that and make sure that everything is cleaned out. And then what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to lower the camera is get it under warm water and continue to comb out all of the soap until this is clean. So let's get on with that. All right, through the magic of time, I've rinsed out my brushes and just kind of uh, dried them off on a towel a little bit. And as you can see, my brush um, in the camera, it doesn't really look a whole lot different, but I have noticed that as I've used this, uh, that the hairs on my brush are noticeably softer. Um, you think you're using soap on it, it's not going to get dirty, but uh, there is soap residue and stuff that stays on there. This brush is soft, it is awesome, super cool, I'm really happy with this. Um, another huge thing about this that I didn't think about, um, but my wife did, is she opened it up right away and started cleaning her makeup brushes with it, and the results were just outstanding on the makeup brushes. Now those actually do discolor and get dirty, and this cleaned it up just absolutely perfect. So uh, gentlemen, if you're ladies, you, if you're looking for a reason to get the sale, uh, seriously, it'll clean her makeup brushes, it'll clean your shaving brushes, and then um, if you're worried about you know kind of mixing the two, so you've got your soap and then just literally rinse it off. It's not hard to rinse off at all. And uh, then what I'll do is just set this out to dry until it is completely dry and then put it back in the bag it came in and you're ready to go for your next use. So uh, if you are interested in this product, um, I highly suggest at least checking it out. Um, I'll put a link below to the uh, Phoenix website where you can pick it up. Like I said, uh, for $10, you get the soap, you get the uh, five inch comb. It is going to work wonderful. Uh, you spend a lot of money on your brushes and you might as well take care of them and uh, make them perform as well as they possibly can. So if you have any questions or any comments about uh, the brush soap, please go ahead and leave them below. I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. And until next time, we'll see you with another video. Bye.